So for number 10, we want to prove that the square root of 5 is not a rational number, and we're going to do this by contradiction. So we're going to assume that it is a rational number, and we're going to show that it leads to um, a contradiction. So we're going to say, assume, assume root 5 um, belong, is a rational number. Then, if root 5 is a rational number, then there exists um, a b belonging to the set of integers such that uh, root 5 is going to be equal to a over b uh, for b not equal to 0. Okay, so once we're here, we're going to uh, multiply everything by b. So we have here that root 5... Uh, root 5b is equal to a, and I'm going to square both sides. So I have that 5b squared is equal to a squared. Now we're going to talk about the prime factors. So what do we have here? Um, so we know that 5 is prime, and we're going to say let b1 times b2 all the way out to bn be the prime factors of b and similarly a1 times a2 times a n uh, b the prime factors of a. So once we have this, we're just going to substitute this uh, back in our equation. So 5b squared, um, no, actually, I'm just going to substitute it directly. So that's going to be 5. And now we're just going to substitute for the prime factors of b, right? So it's going to be b1 times b2 all the way out to uh, bn squared. And that is going to be equal to, same thing, a1 times a2 all the way out to a n squared. Okay, and so this is going to be equal to 5 times, uh, I'm going to have b1 times b1, right? b1 times b1, and then times b2 times b2, and then I would have more of a pair here, and then uh, bn times bn, and this is going to be equal to, uh, same thing, a1 times a1 times a2 times a2, uh, let me just move to the side, times the next pair, and then all the way out to a n times a n. Okay, so why did we go through the trouble of doing this? Well, because now we've shown, hey, there are here, you can see that the prime factors, they come in pairs, right? And same thing for the other side. So it means that on the left, on the right hand side, we have an even number of prime factors, but on the left hand side, we have these are even, but then times an odd type plus one, right? So we're going to have an odd numbers on the left and an uh, even number on the right, which is a contradiction. So we're just going to say the, the left-hand side has an odd number. Um, actually, I'm going to begin with the right-hand side. The right hand side has an even number of prime factors uh, twice I'm gonna put twice twice the factors of a but the left-hand side has twice the factors of b and and five. So, uh, so left-hand side has an odd number of prime factors and. Uh, right hand side has even numbers, number of
prime factors, which is a contradiction. Contradiction. Okay. So we've shown that, hey, this is a contradiction, right? Because you can't have an even number of um, prime factors equal an odd number of prime factors. It just doesn't work. That's a contradiction. Therefore, therefore, square root of 5 is not a rational number. Okay. And that is it for um, number 10.